Hello, everyone. My name is John Brenneman, and I am the president here at MOA Vacations. And uh, on behalf of myself and Gina, we want to thank everyone for uh, joining us today. Uh, a couple of things before we get started. Um, we do tape the webinars. Uh, when the webinar is done, we'll actually uh, edit it. We actually chop off a little bit at the beginning because the webinar actually started a while ago, for those of you who got on. Uh, anyway, we end up uh, uploaded to YouTube. We actually have a MOA Vacations YouTube channel. Uh, and then when that, once that's done, we will send everybody an email uh, with a copy of this presentation. Um, everything Gina talks about today or I talk about today uh, are benefits or savings or opportunities for MOA members and MOA members guests. Uh, so keep in mind, you can bring as many friends or family with you uh, on anything that we talk about, and they will receive all the MOA amenities, all the MOA savings, um, all the group opportunities and everything, um, as long as they are traveling with you. So everything we talk about today is for you and for everyone that travels with you. Uh, one of the things I uh, often talk about is the MOA exclusive amenity program. Uh, in addition to having um, the, we're the only travel agency that offers uh, service on a satisfaction guaranteed basis. Uh, we also guarantee the lowest price. But in, to, in addition to that guaranteed lowest price, we work with a number of vendors like Colat where they offer an additional benefit uh, in appreciation for your past and your continued service. Um, with Colette, that is going to be a $50 uh, or $100 uh, additional discount on any tour that you select um, this year, next year, 2025. Uh, and as I mentioned, if you bring friends and family with you, they would also get that additional $50 or $100 per person discount. So it's actually lower uh, than the lowest price. Um, and then, uh, of course, we have the opportunity to uh, travel in, uh, with uh, your fellow MOA members uh, in a group. Uh, we do have some groups set up with Colette. Uh, we're, for, for the most part today, uh, going to talk about uh, river cruise departures, um, but it's a really busy time for us. We actually have a uh, tour going next week. Uh, we're going to Dublin. Uh, a group of us are going to catch the uh, Navy versus Notre Dame game, and then we have one of our signature groups coming up in September, uh, which is through Iceland. Or excuse me, which is to Iceland, which is through Colette that we're really excited about. We have two buses that are exclusively uh, MOA members. Uh, we're using Colette to take us around uh, uh, the entire uh, island of Iceland uh, and see all the sites. So um, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Gina. Gina's going to talk to us about Colette going to talk to us about the River Cruise specials that were uh, both in the email invitation you may have received or if you uh, saw the ad that was in Military Officer Magazine. We do have an ad in there every month. Um, and then uh, Gina and I will be available for uh, question and answers. If you do have any questions during Gina's presentation, uh, I'm going to actually shut my camera off and I'll be online answering any questions. Uh, that you have, if it's if it's something that I think everyone would want to hear or would benefit from hearing, uh, I may answer it real quick in the Q and A. But uh, and I'll I'll put a note in there, but I'll bring it up at the end uh, so Gina and I can talk about it in more detail. So with that out of the way, Gina, I'm going to turn it over to you to tell us more about Colette and everything that we have going on. Wonderful. Thank you so much, John. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, we are excited to tell you about these river cruises uh, that we're going to talk about today. But first, um, I just want to tell you um, a little bit about me. I am the business development manager for Colette, uh, representing Kansas and Oklahoma. I uh, originally got the travel bug when I studied abroad in Italy um, during my time in college, and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy my job and I'm lucky enough that I have created this passion into a career. And we are very thankful for our partnership with MOA Vacations and uh, very much appreciate you all joining in today. So um, as John mentioned, we are going to um, talk about the river cruises and I will turn off my camera uh, so we can focus on the presentation and then um, at the end, we'll open back up and turn cameras back on to answer any questions you have. 
So first, um, keep in mind, MOA is, is a top partner and leading expert in leisure travel, and we're honored to play a part in this. So thank you once again, John, for your loyalty and partnership. And um, as we go through this, keep in mind, as a MOA member, traveling with Colette will save you 50 to 100 per person on any of the tours that we offer. So we have uh, over 160 tours, all seven continents. So we have something, a little bit of something for everybody. So anywhere in the world, in the corner of the world that you'd like to visit, we have something for you. Um, but the ones that we're talking about today are very exciting and just a great way to see Europe. Now, before we talk about the tours itself, I just am going to tell you a little bit about Colette. So when you are traveling with Colette, every escorted tour is value-packed and experience-rich. When you visit a destination, we really believe you should be immersed in the culture, see all of the major sites, and learn about the history from our professional tour manager that's going to be with you every step of the way. Uh, with that, you will have a four-star uh, experience as well as accommodations. And we'll make sure of taking care of all the logistics, transportation, and accommodations are taken care of for you. So you can be allowed to immerse yourself in the experience without any worries. With that, we'll also be taking care of your baggage. So you won't have to worry about touching that 50 pound bag and um, taking care of all of that for you. And of course, being more than a sightseeing checklist and instead creating cultural enriching experience. So we at Colette don't just have one type of tour. We have a different tour style um, that's uniquely designed to fit the travel sty style of how you'd like to travel. So we can match you with the right tour so beyond our classic Colette tours, <coughs> excuse me, we have our small group exploration line, which has a max of 19 travelers. We have our spotlight tours where uh, you will only have to unpack once and stay four to six nights at a city center hotel. Um, and then of course we have river cruising, which we'll talk about today. And then we also offer faith journeys for our spiritual pilgrimages, Catholic tours, and of course, um, trips to Israel and the Holy Land. Um, so some lots of in-depth look at our travel styles, um, which you can see um, in our brochure. So our, our, our itineraries are meticulously designed to provide the perfect balance for you as a traveler. So you can have a balance of exploration, relaxation, and cultural immersion. Our team of ta travel experts curate each trip so that when you visit uh, the must-see landmarks and also uncovering the hidden gems um, and creating um, authentic local experiences for you. So whether you're a first time traveler or a seasoned explorer, our itineraries cater to a wide range of interests and preferences. And our commitment goes beyond just showing you the sites. We're dedicated to immersing you in the heart of each destination that you visit, ensuring that you don't just see the destination, but you truly experience the heart and soul of the destination that you're visiting. So we have our local expert guides that join you on tour, and they're very passionate about their community, culture, and history, helping bring these sites to life for you. We have uh, some very unique accommodations on all of our tours. So our hand-picked accommodations offer comfort, luxury, and allowing you to relax and rejuvenate after each day's adventure. And of course, we understand the importance uh, of that during travel, which is why we handpick our hotels. Um, so you have time to not only explore, 
um, but also have time to relax. Um, we have different tours where some you even stay in a castle. We have one where you stay at a uh, igloo in Finland. So many different um, unique accommodations chosen with your comfort and satisfaction in mind. And a great part of traveling with us is your vacation starts right at your front door. So we uh, will actually pick you up right at your door, um, offered at only over 90 gateways. Um, so you can not have to worry about parking at the airport and take the hassle out of, uh, you know, getting to and from, making sure you're on time. We'll take your bags from there. So the experience really starts right at home and we take you back at the end as well. So it's so a great perk. So these are the two tours that we are going to talk about today, which we're offering exclusively for our preferred partners at MOA Vacations. So the first one I will talk about will be the cruising on the Danube to the Black Sea, which um, we have a special offer allowing you to get two for one, buy one, get one free, or single saving 25% off. And this is also combinable with uh, your MOA discount as well. Second tour I'll be talking about is Fall In in Belgium's Springtime River Cruise which is one of my favorite river cruises to talk about. You get to see all of the wonderful uh, flowers blooming right in the springtime here. River cruising is a really great way to see Europe. Uh, the food is absolutely unbelievable. We have time for you to relax on a sun deck, reading a book and seeing all those castles and vineyards along the way. It's a really small and intimate experience, a um, little different from ocean cruising, which um, I like to refer to as a floating city. Um, and then in comparison to river cruise, a floating village. So really a memorable way to see Europe. Um, now on this tour, we'll go from Vienna to the Black Sea and um, we'll be taking the Amadeus Brilliant Cruise, uh, which is a private four-star ship and a place that you will call home uh, for your 1200 mile journey along the Danube. Now, as for the cruise itself, uh, the Danube to the Black Sea itinerary is a journey that's gonna take you through the heart of Eastern Europe, showcasing its rich history, diverse cultures, and of course, stunning landscapes everywhere you look. Along the way, you're gonna to get to visit uh, some of the continent's most charming and historical significant cities, including Vienna, Budapest, Belgrade, and Bucharest. So your tour will begin on day two in the grand city of Vienna, which is the capital of Austria. And this is where you are going to board your four-star ship and on pack once for an exciting seven night river cruise along the Danube. Uh, this beautifully appointed vessel has all the modern amenities that you could need, um, providing Wi-Fi, all of the newest technology, a panoramic deck, panorama bar, outstanding service, and of course, delicious cuisine and wine with every dinner. The premium river cruise ship is designed to provide a more intimate and comfortable experience for you with just a maximum capacity of 150 passengers. You're going to have more personalized service and plenty of space to relax. So here's just a view of what the rooms look like. So you'll settle into your rooms and relax as you cruise down the canals and rivers, seeing the sights of and beyond as you go. The ship features appointed cabins and suites, uh, so different cabins to choose from, um, and most with panoramic windows or French balconies, so you can enjoy the stunning river views right from your room. 
So as this will be your home for the next seven nights, we'll toast the beginning of the great trip over a cocktail before indulging in a welcome dinner, your first night on the ship. And then later, we will uh, discover the most iconic sites of Vienna by night. We'll drive along the famous Ringstrasse and see the stunning Opera House, the Parliament, and City Hall. And then we are going to do a walk through the city center from Hofburg Imperial Palace along the Pole Market to Vienna's iconic St. Stephen's Cathedral. And uh, the next morning, we're going to arrive um, in Slovakia, the um, Slovakia's remarkable capital of Bratislava. The city is the formal imperial capital of Habsburg Empire and um, has lots of unique architecture, very old um, medieval architecture and neo uh, during the Neolithic era. We'll take you on a guided walking tour to explore the romantic city's impressive Gothic and Baroque architecture and see some of the most beautiful spots as the old city walls and the summer palace of the Archbishop. And then we'll have some time to relax that evening and go and have dinner aboard the ship. Um, and the next morning, you will wake up to the stunning Budapest, Hungary, which is known as the Queen of the Danube. Um, we do have an optional guided tour here via coach um, where you can see all the charming artist towns here and um, the former residence of Hungarian kings uh, where you will rejoin your ship. And uh, Something Colette does different as well. We know everybody's different and has different preferences on how they would like to uh, do their own adventure. So we have this choice for you that is no extra cost out of your pocket, whether you choose one or the other. Uh, so whether you want to explore Budapest, uh, taking in the city's uh, neo-Renaissance architecture and marble on a city tour to explore, you can do that or set up on a Jewish heritage tour, which will uncover uh, the chapters of the Hungarian Jewish history. And that evening, we're going to glide through Budapest on a cruise, which is festively lit up at night and illuminating the city's most beautiful side, um, joined in by a four-floor show on board to complete your experience. Next day is going to be all yours to uh, have at leisure to explore Budapest however you wish. Whether you'd like to stroll the old town, maybe relax in one of the cafes, or even just visit some of the many historic sites. Um, or we have a optional uh, morning tour that you can join in on, which will highlight some of Budapest's sweetest sites including a visit to the Market Hall, which is filled with Hungarian delicacies and really gets to immerse yourself in the culture here. And this morning uh, on day six now, we're gonna arrive in the Croatian town of Lukovar. After having breakfast on board, we're going to begin your Croatian explorations with a city sightseeing tour and then followed by immersing yourself in Croatia's natural wonders during a excursion to the Kopaki Rit Nature Park to explore and enjoy the unspoiled beauty of the wetland by boat. Now in this little village, we're gonna visit a rural house to learn about the local fishing traditions and taste a typical Croatian product such as fruit brandy, local wine, and homemade cakes. Day seven, we are going to explore a new country as you arrive in Belgrade, which is the vibrant capital of Serbia. 
during an included morning sightseeing tour. We're going to view many of the iconic attractions here um, and get to explore. Also seeing St. Sava Cathedral, which is the largest Orthodox church in the world. Then we're going to continue to explore historic Belgrade uh, independently this afternoon. After dinner, we will have an option for you to join in, uh, partaking in the best of Belgrade at night, where a coach will transport you through the illuminating streets of Belgrade to a hotel in the city center, where you will enjoy a splendid four-floor show. And on day eight, we are, we like to give you a balanced approach here. So we're going to spend the day relaxing on board, cruising through the most impressive natural stretch of the Danube, where we can see the Iron Gate, which uh, is an imposing gorge, whose enormous white limestone cliff from the natural border between Serbia and Romania. So just soaking in all the beauty of the surrounding mountains. Of the Balkan Mountain Range. Day nine, we'll disembark the ship in Spitsov where this morning, and we will travel via coach toward the Rock Monastery of Basabavo. And this uh, monastery was built in the 16th century in a cave and um, the cliffs high above the river, so quite an experience here getting to see that. Next, we'll discover the Church of St. Demeter with history and spectacular views. Then, arriving in Rus, a 2,000-year-old city on the Danube that is filled with culture and traditions, where we'll go on a guided tour that's going to highlight the state opera house, uh, which uh, the pyramidal monumental of Liberty and the architectural medley of the Baroque, Renaissance, and Gothic and Empire style here. Next day, we're going to journey through the breathtaking, beautiful Danube Delta, which is one of the largest wetlands in the world. We're, you're going to see a vast variety of plant and animal species led to its declaration as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We'll travel along St. George's Canal, known as the end of the Danube, where the mighty river flows into the Black Sea to a nearby fishing village of St. George where upon arrival in the quaint fishing village, you will have free time to explore independently. Day 11, your ship is going to arrive in Fantasti, where you are going to disembark for an included excursion to the spectacular Constanata, which is the oldest continually inhabited city in Romania and its largest seaport, um, where we'll do a guided tour that's highlighting all of the synthesis of Greek and Roman and Balkan Oriental and European influences, offering views of the Great Mosque, Casino, and Lighthouse. We'll have the opportunity to also step on the golden sandy beaches of the Black Sea before we return back to your ship. On day 12, this morning, your river cruise is going to come to an end here in this Romanian town um, where you'll disembark your ship and transfer to uh, Bucharest, which is Romania's legendary capital, steeped with history and tradition. So we'll take part in a city sightseeing tour through the vibrant metropolis of Bucharest and enjoy a included lunch at a local restaurant, um, where then later that evening, we'll check you into your hotel and toast to the end of a spectacular Danube journey during a farewell dinner at your hotel. 
On day 13, your journey will come to a close here. Um, so as a reminder, the included experience on cruising the Danube to the Black Sea is going to take you to explore seven different countries, uh, Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, Croatia, Serbia, Bulgaria, and Romania. Um, as you cruise 1,200 miles of the Danube Sea, getting a great glimpse of seeing everything and more of a panoramic view as well as getting to explore. So as I mentioned, um, these are the dates that we have available, which um, this two for one offer or 25% off for single travelers. Um, is for our air inclusive bookings, which also includes that private city and service um, that allows you uh, allows us to pick you up right at your door. Now, this is the starting price at the double occupancy, um, not including airfare because we know everybody has different gateways. Um, but just to give you kind of an example of uh, of what airfare included looks like. Airfare included from New York City is coming out to about $68.99, but keep in mind that is a two-for-one price on the air inclusive. So um, really great deal to get to explore seven different countries. And next tour we're going to talk about is the Holland and Belgium Springtime River Cruise, which is going to be nine days and 20 meals. And the timing of this cruise in April is absolutely perfect to experience the charm of Holland and Belgium's spring season. This is the time when the region bursts into color with blooming tulips and daffodils, creating a really picturesque backdrop for your journey. Your cruise is going to take you through some of the most beautiful and culturally rich cities of Holland and Belgium, where you'll explore Amsterdam's famous canals, the medieval architecture of Ghent, the Diamond District of Antwerp, and the UNESCO-listed historical center of Bruges. So your journey will begin on day two. Uh, beginning in Amsterdam, the 800-year-old capital of Netherlands, home to over 165 canals. So this is a really great way to get to uh, see an overview, panoramic uh, look, as the city got started as a small fishing village in the late 12th century. So we are going to board your ship in Amsterdam as you unpack once for an exciting seven-night river cruise on this beautifully appointed vessel, um, which is going to be the same one that you would be taking if you did the um, Danube cruise, uh, the Amadeus Brilliant, which includes the panoramic deck, panoramic bar, and cuisine and wine with every dinner. So we will uh, treat you with a variety of onboard entertainment that is specific to the culture here, including lectures on the region's history and culture, cooking dem demonstrations, and musical performances. We settle into the room as we cruise down the canals and see the beautiful city of Amsterdam. We'll start off the evening with a cocktail served in the Panorama Bar, offering you a chance to meet your fellow travelers before a lovely welcome dinner and a engaging Dutch folklore show. So as I mentioned, as uh, this town is just full of canals, this is the best way that it's uh, going to be seen from your private Boat, you're going to cruise under sloping bridges and pass by all of the Dutch houses and hear stories of the city's past and present. Then we're going to give you the choice to choose your own adventure, whether you'd like to explore the charming fishing town of Volendam for a guided stroll of its charming old village, uh, followed by a visit to the countryside to learn how to make Dutch cheese at a local cheese farm before sampling some of the delicious treats. 
or visiting the medieval Harlem for a guided tour where you'll learn more about art, history, and the Dutch lifestyle. Um, this walking tour will take you to the historic center, highlighting all of the um, beautiful cathedrals and such. Day four, you're going to say good morning to Arnhem. This city is the location of the favorite summer retreat of the Dutch royal family. You'll get to see the John Frost Bridge, made famous during World War II, Battle of Arnhem, the last victory of the Germany army, and basis for the movie A Bridge Too Far. We have a special highlight of this cruise uh, exclusively for MOA as we appreciate your service and all that you've done. So this museum, uh, we're going to visit the Airborne Museum in Arnhem, where um, you'll see a dedication to the Battle of Arnhem in September of 1944, uh, one of the most significant events of World War II, as I'm sure you know. Here you'll learn about the history and the courage of our airborne soldiers and the Dutch resistance. Normally this visit is valued at 90, but for normal members, this is a complimentary inclusion for you, um, which is gonna contain exhibits that recount the events of the battle, including weapons, uniforms, and documents. So getting a real firsthand experience. After we visit the museum, we are going to give you time to explore the city on your own. Perhaps uh, you'll wander through one of the city's many parks or delve into the local history at one of the museums. This evening, as you continue your cruise and take in the beautiful scenery around you, you're going to get a glimpse of the cows and sheep that graze alongside the waterway. Uh, from the panoramic lounge or the upper sun deck, you'll have a great vantage point as the ship maneuvers through the locks that are so integral to the canal system. Day five, your ship is going to dock in Middleburg, walking you through the twisting lanes and taking the city's relaxed atmosphere on your own. It is known as the Monumental City because of the over 1,100 monuments dotting its landscape and is also known for being influential during the age of scientific development, serving as the home of the investors that created the telescope and microscope. We'll have the opportunity to admire the imposing structure of Town Hall and see the 25 carvings of counts and countesses adorned on the Gothic facade. Uh, perhaps you may even decide to climb the Tower of the Old Abbey on your own, which will give you a 360 degree of views of the city. And the Abbey also houses the Zeus Museum, which features all aspects of the history of Zealand. We have an optional excursion for you to opt into. Um, if you'd like to do an excursion of the Delta Works and a city tour of the year. Next, we're going to say hello to Belgium on day six, where we have an option for you to do a sightseeing tour and discover the historic city of Ghent. And spending your afternoon in the fairy tale town of Bruges, which is classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and really sets itself apart from other Belgian cities by its canals, cobbled streets, and medieval buildings. You'll get to enjoy a leisurely paced walking tour of Bruges on one of one of Europe's most perfectly preserved cities, with many of the 17th century homes being converted into restaurants and cafes. While you're here, you may want to try some of the local delicacies, such as mussels with fries, Belgian chocolates, and of course, Belgian waffles.
Day seven, we're going to venture into Antwerp, which is Belgium's second largest city. And the city's port made Antwerp prosperous in trade and commerce. As a result, the city was built with a masterpiece of architecture. A local guide will take you on a walking tour of the historical sites, including the Grand Palace with the beautiful town hall and guild houses. You'll get to see the Cathedral of Our Lady. And uh, this is one of Belgium's largest Gothic churches um, and houses many works by Ruben, which is a pro pro prolific painter. That afternoon is going to be yours at leisure for shopping and independent exploration before that evening, returning to your ship for the Captain Gala's dinner and dancing. So my favorite part of the tour is day eight, where we stop in Kinderdijk and walk along Holland's storied windmill. Um, you're going to see Holland's largest concentration of windmills with some that are still even operating today. You'll have the chance to go inside one and learn about the lifestyle of the early millers and get a glimpse of how they communicated with one another using the position of sail. Then exploring the world famous Kukenhof Gardens, which is famous for its meandering lanes, canals, sculpted gardens, and seamlessly endless array of starbursts of four colors. Um, visiting the park of this once-in-a-lifetime attraction during the wonderful time of May, where everything is beautiful and blooming. With more than 7 million tulips and other flowers on the exhibit, and it is really a kaleidoscope of color in, uh, in bloom, and also called the Garden of Europe, and one of the world's largest flower gardens. And while you're here, there's also several indoor pavilions at the Kuchenhof, which will allow you to get snacks, uh, stop at cafes, maybe um, buy some souvenirs and such, um, really just getting to enjoy the beauty of the flowers here at the Kuchenhof. Next, we'll return back to our ship and toast to the end of your journey. Uh, followed with a farewell dinner with all of your fellow travelers. And on day nine, your tour will come to a close. Um, now, as I mentioned, this is perfect time to visit as everything is blooming and also not only seeing that, but an immersive experience that combines stunning landscapes, historical insights, and cultural encounters and luxurious comfort. This special offer is truly a unforgettable journey at a unbeatable value that we hope you can join us on. So with that, um, here are the dates that we have available for you. Um, now space is tight on this, so if you'd like to sign up, I encourage you to hold your spot as soon as possible. And keep in mind, this offer is combinable with um, the military offers, vacation offers, so you can save on it as well. So I'm going to pass it back on over to John, and we um, can answer any questions that you may have. Thanks, Gina. I appreciate you going through all of that with us. Um. So we had a couple of questions, but nothing really related to the presentation um, so far. So if anybody has any questions, uh, if you just want to go ahead and drop those in the Q&A, uh, we're more than happy to uh, answer those right now. As a reminder, uh, we are going to uh, send everybody an email with a copy of this presentation. Um, probably tomorrow morning. It ends up taking a while by the time we uh, download it, edit it, and upload it again. Um, but I can't imagine we don't have any questions. Surely somebody has something they want to ask. Hmm. Well, what should we talk about then, Gina? <laughs> 
I guess if we don't have anything, we can just go ahead and go. We're up. Oh, there you go. Just need to give people a minute to come up with their questions. Uh, what is the cost of the deposit on the Holland trip? I believe it is eight ninety eight. I I didn't hear you. Eight ninety eight. Eight nine eight. Yes. Okay. And then the Black Sea is so close that it would be full payment at this time. Yeah. Um, Tony, if you'd like, just give us a call, uh, and one of the agents can check that for you. But uh, Gina said she thinks it's eight ninety eight. We have another. I'm going to put on my reading glasses. Here we go. So we answered that one. We got a new one, which is, nope, that was the one we had. Okay. Um, will yeah. you handle airfare from New York City to Vienna? Yeah, yeah, you have two options on your air. Actually, three options. Uh, Colette offers air. We can go through Colette's air um, program for you. Um, I love Colette's door-to-door -door service. Uh, I think it's just such a great way to start and end your trip, you know, where uh, they pick you up at your house, take you to the airport, and then at the end of the trip, they bring you home again. Um, you can do air on your own, and then we can help you do air. Um, typically, it's best to go with Colette's air unless you have something that you're going to do, which is more than a day or two pre or post. Um, we have some members sometimes that want to go over because they serve there, they have friends there or family there or whatever it is, and they want to spend a week or two, uh, in which case you might be better served doing air on your own. Um, but yes, absolutely, both Colette and Moa Vacations are there to help with your air. Um, and to get, get the uh, price for the two-for-one on the Danube, keep in mind that that is only offered if you if you book your air with us. Now, if you want to come in a couple nights early, um, we can accommodate your airfare for that as well, or stay a little bit longer. Yeah, I was just saying from experience, we we know there are a lot of members that, having served in Europe, have friends or actually might even have. Uh, uh, children that are serving over there now and they'll literally go over for a week or two or a long period of time uh, in which case they might want to do air on their own. Uh, the deposit on the uh, Holland and Belgium cruise, is that refundable? Um, because the we're getting closer to six to seven months out, it depends on when you sign up um, with you know, we have a little bit different of an insurance policy. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of leave that to you, John, on, on how that works with the signups. Yeah. And another opportunity, I think, uh, just to give us a call or an email, uh, you see both the telephone number uh, and the email address on the screen. Uh, it's simple enough just to drop us an email and give us a little bit more specifics of how many people are going, the date you want to go, and those types of things. And just ask them in that email what the deposit is, and then when do the penalties begin? Um, you know, which, as I'm sure those of you who've traveled before, you know, the penalty increases as you get closer to the departure date. Uh, and then uh, somebody asked, uh, does Colette have a particular cruise line company they use for river tours? Um, go ahead. You want to answer, Gina? Go ahead. Yes, uh, so we partner with Lufner and Amadeus, and on both of these specific tours that I discussed today, the exact ship I did find out is the MS Amadeus Brilliant. So if you want to look into that, um, you can see the ex exact ship that is offered for both of these tours, and it is the same ship. There you go. Uh, Arthur asked about single cabins on Black Sea. Uh, Arthur, if you could just give us a call or drop us an email and let us know what date you're looking for and an agent can check. Um, that inventory is live. Um, so if I told you right now there is a single available, nothing says that somebody might call in and book that stateroom right now. So your best bet is to call or drop an email, let them know when you want to go, or if you're flexible, let them know you're available either date. Uh, and have them check and, and, and hold something when they check uh, for you. Typically on something that close in, we won't be able to hold it for 24 hours, but, we'll, but hopefully we can hold it to the end of the day. Gina, do you know if we call in and hold a cabin, if we can hold it to, to end of business? 
or is it immediate? Yeah, if they, if they call in and provide their passport information and such, just make sure it's all listed as, yep. you know, as on your ID and we can hold that space for you. Yeah. And, get the deposit in. Yeah, and you know, sort of like we talk about um, the penalties, it's the same thing with how long you can hold stuff. Uh, sometimes when stuff gets really close in, they won't even let you hold it for a minute. You need literally need to make payment. Uh, it sounds like with Colette uh, on the Black Sea, we'd be able to hold it in business day. You know, when we start looking at the, uh, the, the Holland and Belgium, uh, which is months away. Uh, typically, we can hold that for three to seven days. And once again, the agent can give you those specifics when they look that up. Um, I think we'll say that we think that's all of them for now. I'm sure you're going to think of other questions uh, or things you want to know. As I said, give us a call, drop us an email. We're more than happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, keep in mind, you can bring family and friends along. Uh, if you'd like, uh, and they will get all the, the MOA savings and the MOA uh, exclusive amenity. Uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Um, I love doing these. We didn't start doing them until uh, 2020, I guess, and now we do two or three a month. I actually had one Tuesday, and I have one again next Monday with Colette again. Uh, I mentioned we have our tour of Iceland where we have almost 100 MOA members going on two buses. I guess it's closer to 90 than 100. Um, but what we do for those signature groups is we're doing kind of a preview where we're going to go through the, uh, the tour in great detail day by day and answer questions. Everybody. So it's kind of a unique situation. I'm doing, uh, three webinars in seven days. So anyway, uh, but we do want to thank you all, uh, for coming, uh, spending an hour with us. Um, we appreciate you. And then, uh, Gina, on behalf of myself. Moa and everyone here at Moa Vacations, we want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. And I'll turn it over to you for the final word. I just wanted to say thank you so much. And for those of you that are joining on Iceland, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful time. And once again, thank you so much for your service and your partnership with Colette. Bye, everyone. We'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day.